Now, for the first couple of weeks, we're only going to have output in this console area. But notice down here, it is giving me my hello world. And I can run it as many times as I want, and it'll keep saying hello world. I could add to it. Oops. Um, just so you know, it's changing to uh, dynamically. Now, a strange thing that sometimes happens, especially with this uh, Eclipse 3.1, sometimes the first time you run something, after you've made a lot of changes, it clears the Java screen immediately, or the console screen right after you ran it. So when you run it again, it does show up the second time. So sometimes you got to hit run twice. Yes? At the end of the semester, we'll actually be building some Windows programs. And they run in Windows. So it will show up as a window. But until we get to that point, everything we're doing is going to only be showing up in the console. And that's well after midterms. So for right now, you're going to become very friendly with the console, which is related back to that old DOS window stuff. Okay? I'm sorry? How do you turn the helper on? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Uh, okay, so that's how that's the difference between creating something using Notepad and then compiling it and then running it. Or you can just simply do it in some kind of IDE such as Eclipse. That makes life a little bit easier. It takes care of the compiling for you and makes your life a little bit easier. Now then, you need to finish up reading Chapter 1 and get started on reading Chapter 2. First thing we're going to do on Tuesday of next week is I'm going to go over the Java API, which is how you find out information about commands in Java. That's covered at the very end of Chapter 1 in your text. Chapter 2 will seem completely overwhelming. It is. There's a ton of information in there. Fortunately, everything we cover in Chapter 2 gets repeated again later. But it kind of gives you a quick overview of the entire language so that you've got an idea of where we're going. And then in Chapters 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., we go down and we cover each one of those things in depth.